Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we're going to go through all of my trash, all of my empties. I'm going to give you little mini reviews, tell you whether I'm going to repurchase or if I'm not and what I'm repurchasing instead. Let's get into it. I love these videos, you guys love these videos and that makes my heart so happy because I think they're the most helpful. I love my favorites videos. They're fun, they're exciting, they're new. Trash is where you get down to the nitty gritty. You see, did that person use up the whole thing? Did they not? Are they repurchasing it? And you know, in this bucket, I bet you, if you're a consistent watcher, you know at least five items in this bucket every single month because they're just that good. So let's go ahead and jump in. First one being my Epsom salts um, from Target. I just get the Target brand because I go through these pretty quick. I think one of them probably lasts me like two or three baths and that's about it. Um, I love Epsom salt baths for soaking my muscles when they get sore from the gym, when I'm maybe feeling a little achy, getting sick, whatever. I love them. I switch between the eucalyptus and the Himalayan pink sea salt, so I will definitely repurchase this. I have the pink sea salt in my um, like closet right now, so I'm going to cycle through that and then... I'll pick up more. I also like the lavender one, but I just basically, these are a dupe for the Dr. Teal's ones, which are just a lot more expensive. These are like five bucks. So definitely recommend um, finding an affordable Epsom salt. And I really like the ones from Target. Are we surprised? No. I'm surprised that I go through one of these a month. <laughs> that surprises me slightly. Um, so this is the Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil um, body wash. It doesn't really surprise me because um, Scott uses it as well, so I get it. This is an oil to gel body wash. It's not super foamy. It doesn't have a scent. Some of y'all say it smells like popcorn. I don't notice that. I love it. I, when Naturium was running their big like Labor Day sale, I want to say, I tried out a bunch of their other ones. So I'm currently using the salicylic one and I also have the glycolic one. I already have like two of these on backup. Honestly, I feel like they're different enough that you could use, you could have both in your shower. Um, I miss this one because I've been using the salicylic one. It's so different um, that I want to bring this back in, but I'm currently using up the uh, Trader Joe's Brazilian, like dupe for the Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom, whatever, Sol de Janeiro thing. Uh, I'm trying to use it up. It's not my favorite. It's okay. It's whatever, but it's not that great. The salicylic one from this is like, I'm still deciding, okay? I'm still deciding. But this is my favorite body wash. Even Scott was like, what happened to our body wash? <laughs> it's like, I don't like the other one as much. So I'll give you my full thoughts when I go through that. But this is, yes, I've already repurchased it. I just need to put it in my shower because I'm truly missing it. This guy, again, I, this is my favorite body lotion of all time. It's kind of a mix between a body lotion and a body butter. It's thick, it's unscented, it soaks into the skin though so nicely. I hate lotion most of the time. Um, I'm very picky, I don't like it to be sticky, I don't like it to like, I don't know, I hate when it just sits on the skin. This is beautiful, I can apply this at night and go to my workout class in the morning and not feel like my sweat is just like, becoming gooey. You know what I mean if you know what I mean. This stuff is just my favorite. The Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. I love that it's in a pump. I love that you can get it at Target, but always check their site because they're always running really good deals as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure Target is doing their like circle deals where if you spend a certain amount um, on body care products, you get like a $5 off coupon or something like that. Um, yeah, best lotion of all time already. I have like four of them in my closet. Like I will never, I will never switch. And even if I bring a new lotion in, um, they, it never replaces that. And honestly, I feel like once you find a good lotion, you stop wasting your money on lotions that aren't good and you just continue with it. It ends up saving you money in the long run because that's like 15 bucks, which is a lot for a lotion. But honestly, not compared to that necessary, necessary, whatever, that everyone raves about. Not nearly as good. But um, I feel like I was like trying out so many different lotions that are like 5 to 
and I wouldn't finish them because I hated the consistency on my skin or I would just use them like at night or whatever when I knew I wasn't gonna wear up. Nonetheless, that's my favorite. Okay, next, <laughs> mouthwash. This is the second bottle that I've gone through. I have never been a consistent mouthwash user because I never really liked the feeling. I'm currently, this was their anti-cavity one. I'm currently using their gum health one. I've just been dealing with some gum sensitivity, not gum sensitivity, tooth sensitivity. Um, and yeah, so I've switched to a Sensodyne toothpaste and I've switched to a more gum focused uh, mouthwash. See how I feel so far? No sensitivity at all. I was just feeling like my teeth towards the top of my gums were feeling really sensitive and I was like, ooh. So decided to try that and so far so good. But I love these TheraBreath mouthwashes. I feel like they're really worth it. They honestly, for me, they're worth it because I consistently use them. Like I don't, like I use them every single night without even thinking about it. Where like Listerine or Crest 3D White, I never liked them enough to continue to use them. So this is a win for me, love them. I think depending on, I'm gonna try out a couple different of their formulas before I commit to like one of the large, large bottles um, because they make larger than 16 ounces. But these last me about a month and a half and yeah, I'm a huge fan of their mouthwash. So if you've tried any of the other formulas, let me know what your thoughts are if you have a favorite one. Are we surprised? No. The Elta MD Tinted, this again, you guys know, is my favorite um, facial SPF that's tinted for the price and for the tint, it's the best. Um, it does not sit on my skin. It sinks into my skin. Whether I have a moisturizer or don't have a moisturizer, it lays perfectly under makeup. It's literally the only one I like consistently. Currently, I <laughs> I have no idea what I did with my other bottle. I either, this is my thought process, I either brought it on vacation and took it out in the hotel and lost it there because when I was on vacation, I was like, oh, I didn't bring my SPF. I must have left it at home. Um, and then when I got home, I can't find it anywhere. So clearly it's somewhere in this place, but I have no idea where, or I really did bring it on vacation and like left it in the hotel room, like on the bed or it fell under, whatever. I did something to it where I lost it and that breaks my heart because it is kind of pricey. But they do now officially, they never used to offer this on the subscribe and save on Amazon. So they do offer it on subscribe and save. So I think now it's like $26 for me instead of $28 or $36 instead of 38 or 34, something like that. It's under, it's like a little bit cheaper because you can get the subscribe and save. So I get this like every four to six weeks. So I'm out of this. My next one doesn't come until October 11th. So I'm currently using the CeraVe, CeraVe tinted one. I like it, it's just a little bit thicker. It takes a little bit longer to sink into my skin and it shows around like my hairline and stuff because it's a little bit orange. So that's the only beef that I have with that. If you have a darker complexion, you probably wouldn't have an issue with it, but this is still the easiest and most luxurious to use. So yes, my fave. Um, <laughs> another one. This guy, you guys, honestly, I haven't been using this nearly as much. Scott still uses this every single month. I still do use it every once in a while. This is the Dove Dermacare Scalp. I haven't been suffering from scalp issues since washing my hair more often. If you suffer from dandruff and things like that, odds are you're probably just not washing your scalp enough. And that was definitely me. So I am currently using the Kristen S Detox Shampoo so good. My favorite. I use it probably two to three times a week and it has seriously helped the oil production in my hair and I'm not suffering from like dry spots. So I'm still using this every so often if I find that my scalp is feeling a little like dry or irritated. I have a tendency to get like build up around my hairline and stuff like that. So yeah, and we're also in summer so it might change when it gets a little bit drier. But this is my favorite anti-dandruff shampoo, the Dove coconut hydration. This is the only scent, whatever. We go through one of these a month. It's good. And it really cleans my hair. It's typically like my first shampoo. Another trick, if you're not leaving your shampoo on your scalp, highly recommend. Also highly recommend doing two washes, just like you do your face, do a cleanse. You know what I was thinking about the other day in the shower? I was like, why do we not have like pre oil cleanses for our hair? Like maybe that's what we're missing. Like an oil shampoo. Oil doesn't like oil, so oil cleans oil. Is that an, does that exist? I know like pre-shampoo oils that you can put on your hair, but why is there not like an oil wash like there is for your face? I think that would definitely help. 
Anyway, thoughts in my brain. But if you're not doing two, you need to. The first time your hair doesn't really like suds up, and then the second time it really does. So do a double cleanse. This guy right here. This is my favorite winter hand cream. I'm most definitely repurchasing this. The Kiehl's Ultra Strength Hand Salve. I'm currently using the EOS one that I just mentioned in my favorites video, and I love it. It's really good. Um, no complaints, it's thick, but this is like thick, thick. My heavy duty, this lasts me years. Honestly, so long this hand cream lasts me, I like get get to the nitty gritty of this. I might actually cut it, but I don't, I honestly don't think there's a drop left in this. It's kind of pricey for a hand cream, but like I said, lasts me forever. I always pick this up. Um, always check on Kiehl's website. They're always doing like 25% off. So never pay full price for this stuff, but it's so good. I love Kiehl's. This is unscented by the way, so. My favorite nighttime hand cream. It's it's really good. This guy. Okay, these are the JS Health Detox and D Bloat. I talked about I've talked about their vitamins before, but I talked about this. I think I did like a a demo, whatever, um, on my vlog channel. These are really good. I used a ton because we went on vacation. So we went to New York and then we went to um Alaska. Whenever I'm on vacation, I cannot be without these because I'm an overeater. I'm an overindulger. Like I just am. Um, I don't use them day to day. You can, um, but I only really use them if I'm feeling like, oh, I ate too big of a meal or whatnot. It just kind of helps take the pain and the bloating out of it. Um, I don't know about the detox ability, but when I was getting back from Alaska and I had gained I had gained, like I didn't really gain 10 pounds of fat, but you know, like you're inflamed, you're holding onto water weight, you're all that. These I was taking twice a day, in the morning and then at night, and I definitely noticed a big difference of just like losing that water weight and kind of flushing my system. It doesn't make you like go to the bathroom or anything crazy like that. Um, it's pretty natural ingredients, so I really do like these. I have another bottle already. I would continue to always have this on hand. Um, like I said, I normally take it and notice the difference when I'm going to bed uh, or don't notice the difference because I'm going to bed, but I wake up feeling flat and less like inflamed, I guess is the best way I could explain it. So love these guys. These are like my right hand when I am on a vacation because I am just somebody who thrives in routine. So when I'm not able to uh, make healthy, when I don't make healthy decisions, because 90% of the time I can, I just choose not to. Those are my, my go-to. Uh, a multivitamin, these are the ones from Whole Foods. I recently got the Ritual ones. You know, I like them. I have two months supply of them, so I'm gonna hold out and see what I think about them towards the end. I hate that they're mint flavored. This isn't a video about that. Nonetheless, these were really good. They were 14 bucks for a three month supply. I like that you only have to take one. So I honestly would really reconsider getting these again. Um, I just want one that's more geared towards women. This one's just adult multivitamin. So I would get one that's woman centralized next time. Um, I think they just have a difference of, I don't know, nutrients in them. But I have been taking vitamins daily for probably the past year now. And I definitely feel like I don't notice a huge difference, but enough to like continue taking them. Another supplement that I take, I have a lot of supplements, um, is vitamin D. I just ran out of this. I started taking this last year when we moved here during the fall and winter and I'm definitely gonna repurchase these again. Yeah, they lasted me about a year, 360 soft gel tablets. Um, I take one in, specifically I was taking them in the winter to help with seasonal depression, vitamin C, or vitamin D, the lack of vitamin D because the sunshine's not out. Um, so I've definitely, I ordered them already on Amazon. They're like 14 bucks. They're so good. They have a million reviews. I really like them. They're easy to take. They don't cause any sort of issues for me, constipation or anything like that, they say. Uh, so yeah, I really help. I really like them. And if you live in a place that doesn't get sunshine, sunshine <laughs> year round, add a vitamin D to supplement into your routine. And I loved it so much that I kept taking it because I also work inside. So I'm not outside nearly as much as I need to be, but you, like I will say, that helps with your energy levels so much as being in the sunshine. So I can't say that word today. Sunshine, sunshine. Try to get outside, but also supplement vitamin D. <laughs> Another JS health vitamin, I swear. I'm not like a vitamin like, well, oh, you need to take your vitamins, but I really do like these ones. The hair and libido, they're great. I've gone through probably three or four of them now, um, and I like them. They make my hair grow, 
probably too much because I have short hair so I don't really want them cut all the time but I was really focusing on thickness and for me hair vitamins help with the shedding and this helps with my shedding and the libido Mm -hmm. Yep, works. Next, I have the Ordinary Hyaluronic 2% plus B5 Serum. I love this, you guys. This is the only hyaluronic acid serum that I had used until I tried the Good Molecules one. Blows it out of the water. If you like a thicker consistency, you would like this. If you like a silky, just smooth, luxurious one, go for the Good Molecules. It's so good. I wish I bought the big one. I only bought the small one because they didn't have the big one. That's why it's really good, but both of them are really nice. I use a hyaluronic acid serum um, just for extra hydration. I am somebody that if my skin is not hydrated, it throws off the pH, it throws off everything, and I break out like crazy. So hydration, hydration for this guy. It's just such a basic molecule though, the hyaluronic acid, that you don't need to go super expensive. So Good Molecules is currently my favorite, but I also loved The Ordinary, but I am going to repurchase the Good Molecules from here on out. This guy, this is the Triple Sec by Drybar. This is a great volumizing texture spray. It's kind of like a dry shampoo meets a texture spray. Love it, but currently I have literally like a million of the, a million as I'm like thinking. I think I have three of these. Um, the full dry volume texture spray from Living Proof. Down. Um, I bought so many of those because they were doing like this like um, you basically got it free always check Sephora around the holidays towards the end of their things they like do bundle deals and then they go on sale so I got those basically for free um, with a discount on their sets so I love the um, advanced clean dry shampoo and they were bundling it with that last year so I picked up a bunch um, so I will not be purchasing the triple sec right now but I do really really enjoy that one so if you're looking for a good drop volume texturizing spray that one is really good it's kind of like I said it's oil absorbing as well most texturizing sprays are so love that one this guy I've used a million of these I have a bunch of like small ones when Ulta was doing their buy one get one free of their minis I bought a bunch of deluxe samples and my favorite makeup setting spray um i have fallen in love with the one size one as well the mattifying one but this is still my go-to like every day finishing step makes my skin like my makeup on my skin just blend together seamlessly love it this guy my kosas concealer the revealer 4n i think i need to get recolor match i always take out the little like stopper to just get every last drop i love this concealer i'm currently using the house labs though and i feel like it's more versatile for me mostly I think this color is just a little too deep for me now so I want to get recolor matched for this guy but this is more of like a serum-y not so full coverage but beautiful finish very skin like I really do love this concealer I already have another one I probably will always keep this on on hand but the house labs one right now is just beautiful because it can be worn by itself as well and also can be worn with like makeup like foundation both of them can be but um beautiful and a little bit more coverage but doesn't look more full coverage it's stunning so yes needless to say i will repurchase it but i'm currently loving the house labs i'm sure if you've wanted to try the kosas you've tried it because it's been out forever now maybelline mascara lash sensational always my favorite always have one on stock but i'm currently loving the elf one the lash and roll so good um but this is just always a classic mascara for me and i always have it on hand i love the curved brush i love the rubber bristles it gives me a lot of length volume separation it gives everything to me that i could want in a mascara and i love it uh this guy right here babe lash i know don't come at me a lot of people are hating on eyelash serums right now and i get it um but i think with moderation you're gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay because I'm not making your decisions you are uh this lash serum is one of my favorites this and grande lash the only ones I use I was using rapid lash didn't notice a big difference um I feel like they changed their formula from when I first loved it I loved this guy so much that the thing broke off and I just removed the thing and kept going along with it it's good do not use it every day once you achieve the lashes you want like look how long my lashes are now I'm not using this every day I already have another one on backup, but I'm currently using Grande Lash, but I have a new one. 
it's on auto subscribe on my Amazon as well. Um, once you get to the desired length and fullness, stop using it and just use it like once every week, once every two weeks. Um, and that's about it. You don't need to use it every day once you get to the thickness you want. Because I know people's like main concern is that apparently is dissolving the fat from around your eyes. So I don't put it on my lower lash um, line. I just put it on my upper lash line. So a lot of people are concerned with it just like giving darker, deeper circles under your eyes and then you're losing the volume on your lid. Um, so do with that information as you will. But like I said, I feel like if you're not using it every day, then it's doing it less. Uh, again, not a doctor. Next guy, this I actually found in the bottom of one of my purses and it was time to part with her. I love this lip gloss and I want to look for other colors. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I had the Daisy Pink. It smells really nice. It's plumping. It's a beautiful gloss. It's kind of borderline sticky, but in like a good way. I love the applicator on this too. I would want to look for more of like a ready sort of color. This um, was a little too muted out for me, but I did love this and I used to wear it all the freaking time. Clearly I finished up the entire thing, which rarely happens with me and my lip glosses. So love that. Another Lawless product. Um, I love this lip mask. This is the second one that I have and I already have another one. Um, that I'm currently using. This is the Cherry Vanilla. I started with the Sweet Dream, then I went to the Cherry Vanilla because Sweet Dream was sold out, and now I'm doing the Juicy Watermelon, which is a new one of theirs. Thick, luxurious, literally plumps your lips overnight. Like, it really, really does. It's not a tingler one, though. It's literally just pumping them full of just beautiful goodness. Like, when I wake up in the morning, I have the lips that I want, and then by the time the day goes by, my top lip becomes non-existent, such as life. I don't care enough to go get fillers, so I'm not going to, but this lip mask is such a beautiful consistency, and when I'm using this regularly and I don't switch, I do not have issues with chapped lips. So I really do feel like this is a beautiful formula. It's pricey for what you get, and I kind of go through them somewhat fast, but it's still worth it to me, and I still always purchase it. I know people are like, just use Vaseline. No, 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 no. I don't like it. So yeah, <laughs> next guy is this. I had talked about this I want to say in my a favorites video or something a while ago this is my first one that I tried and I have another one already because I bought the minis this is the because I loved it so much this is the bumble and bumble bb thickening spray this is so good for girls who have fine hair but a lot of it but just feel like they don't have like volume to their hair I have been loving the bumble and bumble line like I love their invisible oil line um, for a leave-in spray. It's just really good. I just, I really like it. And I'm currently, I tried their post-workout dry shampoo and I really liked that as well. So this is good because for me, I hate the feeling of stuff in my hair. When I blow dry my hair and my hands feel like producty, absolute no-go. It weighs down my hair. My hair just looks terrible. It's just gross. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't even use the leave-in conditioner anymore because I don't like the way that feels. I use this and I use the Kendra blow dry spray. This is just really good for giving like a little bit of grit, a little bit of volume without and making your hair feel thicker even though it's not but doesn't feel thicker. Okay it's the best. I already have another one. I think it's because it's clear and it's like a spray so it's not you're able to evenly distribute it a little bit more. It's not like a mousse, but it gives you results of a mousse. You can focus this on your roots if you're wanting a root lift, or you can focus it towards the ends if you're just wanting like an overall thickening effect. I'm obsessed. This guy, Carmex. Honestly, I used to love this. There was a time when I really loved this. And ever since switching to the Summer Friday lip butter, I honestly feel like my lips have been a lot less chapped. I've cut out Carmex and I've cut out Burt's Bees. I had this one, what, by my bedside bedside um and whenever i veered a veered to this for a nighttime instead of the lawless i just felt like my lips got chapped and it's weird because you wouldn't think so because this is like an ointment i used to think like ointment meant healing whereas like like lip butters and stuff weren't doing anything i was wrong i think it's okay um i like the consistency but i think we're breaking up because i found her 
<laughs> she's the best summer friday lip balm i was like trying to get every last little bit i already i have two of these in here the sh pink sugar i currently keep in my car they both operate the same to me um this is my favorite lip balm butter whatever it's so good i have like no i have nothing left in it it's got a silicone tip it smells delicious it's got shine to it it does not like make my lips look chapped or feel chapped or anything like that it's so good if you've been a Burt's Bees girl and you feel like it has this chokehold on you that if you leave the house without it your lips are horrible try switching to something like this that actually feels like it has good ingredients in it and like provides moisture to your lips this this is so good I just bought the road one though so we'll see it comes in the mail soon it's already shipped I got the pink ribbon and the uh, rib, like juicy watermelon or something I don't know anyway last but not least a little beauty blender pawpaw sponge from Amazon if you are not buying just the generic beauty blenders you're missing out um, I loved the Beakley ones for so long but I tried the pawpaw ones so good just more of a consistency between I loved the Beakley ones but I felt like certain colors I liked more whereas this they're all consistent and they're so good I already have like they come in like a giant bag like this so I don't need to repurchase for a while but I'll always repurchase these I cannot believe people still spend $20 on beauty blenders like what I mean I feel bad for beauty blender because like that was their claim to fame for so long and I don't think that it is anymore um because there's just so many good dupes so that is it those are all of my empty products that I've used up over time since the last one I filmed. I hope you guys enjoyed these little mini reviews. Find these videos helpful. I feel like you guys do. I love you all so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in my next video real, real soon.